These hitchhikers climb aboard whether we like it or not. Some are as tiny as a pinhead and stow away unseen on boats, fishing gear, and even pets. So what we have in this vial is New Zealand mud snails. Um, these are pretty scary, even though they're so small, but uh, these can take over an entire watershed in the, the bottom of the food chain. These slender freshwater snails can pass through a fish's gut undigested. It's not a good meal. Yet these non-native mud snails are displacing native snails and insects that native fish rely on for food. Making matters worse, they don't need a partner to reproduce. So it only takes one of them to basically take over a region because they can populate by themselves asexually. Mud snails are one of many aquatic nuisance species becoming a major problem globally and a threat here in the West. The western area here, the Rocky Mountain region, has some of the best, most pristine waters left um, in the lower 48. And so we have a lot to lose um, and we have a lot to protect. Once introduced, these non-natives often have no natural predators, so they spread unchecked. They can introduce disease, harm fish populations, clog irrigation pipes, ruin boat engines, and increase operating costs for drinking water plants, power plants, and dams. State and federal agencies are working together, <laughs> along with nonprofits like the Snake River Fund, to step up efforts to educate the public about how to stop aquatic hitchhikers. Clean, inspect, dry. And that's kind of our best system right now that we have in order to not have establishment of these species. Because once they're established, it's almost impossible to eradicate. After entering lakes or rivers, inspect anything that's been in the water, even pets. Scrub boats and gear to remove any debris. Vigorous scrubbing also helps break down the shells of tiny invaders, stopping them from spreading. Thoroughly drying equipment is one of the best ways to keep these invaders at bay. It's such a human-driven process that uh, people are starting to realize in order to protect our waters, we have to be involved and change behaviors. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.